Welcome back everyone. I'm your manager A, and this is Lobotomy Corporation. Day 50. We finally made it. We lost a lot of people. But we can finally end this. Uh, there are no ordeals. So that's we're, we're safe. Like literally, there's no meltdowns, no ordeals. It's just like the, like he said, we're gonna manage this, we're gonna manage the uh, the facility one more time. So let's begin. Shall we get to work? All we need to do uh, do is what we've always done. If you look down here, you can see all the Sephira. Uh, Bana's portrait is blurred for some reason. And in here you can see we're now connected here. So we need 1500 energy. Which is fine. So we're just going to uh, As you can see, no meltdowns. All right. Let's get to work. All that matters right now is just collecting energy. We just need to get 1500. And the requirement to get to this final day, besides also, you know, doing the actual level, or uh, day 49, is you have to have all, you have to have data on all the abnormalities except for DLC. Or not DLC, but, uh, what is it? Uh, backer, you don't have to have backer ones, and then there's a few of them that you don't specifically need, um, like the button, and so forth, really. Essentially, you just have to have 100% completion by their definition. It may feel a bit busy, but it'll be worth it. You only have to bear, uh, bear it for a moment. So. So 
took a very long time to get to this point. Most of it was my fault for constantly restarting. I think there was a way to actually restart with your employees still, which I wasn't doing. The last restart was the one that hurt me the most, simply because I didn't realize I had to split my um, my expansions to the last two departments to ensure I can do both in, in one run. Uh, but I've already mentioned how much that annoyed me. Like honestly, they just needed to add one more day and that would have fixed that issue. Overall, it's a really interesting game. I didn't really like the I didn't like Day 49 really. Um, I liked the whole mystery and kind of figuring things stuff out. So towards the end, I started looking things up ahead of time just simply for the sake of not having to do it over again, over and over again. I guess the question is, is what I'll do after this. I hope no one has to die or suffer today. I think we suffered enough yesterday. So I'm working in this area just simply because it's, I feel it's the easiest for me to keep track of and not have to worry about anything. And has a reasonable amount of uh, energy. Obviously the highest would be down here with uh, Blue Star and them, but I didn't want to risk losing more, more people. Here it's pretty safe. Brace yourself. I'm sorry to make you go through this one last time, but you are within arm's reach of the end. It's alright. Also, I believe, uh, actually, I think it was for all, every single one of these final days, you only have half as many clerics, so it's a lot easier to clear them out. Okay, that's just the bird. I was about to freak out for a second. I was like, I am not going to deal with an, <laughs> with an escaped abnormality. It's just the bird. We're okay.
So yeah, even the meltdowns are not making sirens or anything. It just resets the um, the penalties for wall, wall types and higher. You have been through so much. Today arrived before you can, could even realize it, as you have endured and overcome numerous trials. It's actually really hard to select people now. There we go. There we go. All right, that's you guys. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about work having sending anyone else to work. It's just take it easy. Enjoy the nice little music. And take this home. to rotate again. You've made it this far. I know you'll be able to keep going. Let us face the, the, this day just like the rest. Halfway through. One point short. It has been so long since we saw the light behind the mist and clouds. It's like we're being lifted. Yeah, we're going up. Or down. Since we're upside down, we've been underground for a while.
Not sure what I'll play next. I already have two days devoted towards uh, Madara. Got something devoted towards me learning another language. Got one devoted to gotcha games, of all things. I never expected that would happen. Just ended up being how it is. So I'll probably be another. It'll either be a short game or another RPG. There's a few games I bought and started and never bothered finishing. We have been buried here for quite a long time, haven't we? It's definitely one of my longer Let's Plays. Like I said, some of it was self-inflicted, unfortunately. But it was a nice little Zen game. You know, prior to the... the final couple days. one of those games where you can kind of just work on things. As long, I mean, once you figure out what the abnormalities to do, that is. I played the game so long, they actually updated it and kind of made the UI better and a little bit more readable. I guess it's expecting me to go through the phases faster, but I don't have any people. <laughs> I'd rather finish with the people I obviously worked with. Alright, hear the pecking already, that's alright. I haven't been outside in ages. It looks like things haven't changed much. It's the same glorious mundane scenery, just like the graveyard. Just like a graveyard, rather. Yep, here we are. We're on the surface, and you can see kind of the... You can see the night sky. And the high-tech, I guess, dystopian type situation. Why can't I click on anything? I actually can't click on people now. Yeah, I can't click and drag. So that's a problem. All right, we'll do it this way then. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but that's fine. should be safe. Let's embrace this place with warmth so everyone could shine like the stars in the sky.
We will make humans live as humans. All that's left for us after that is to simply watch. energy produced those past 50 days is for today. This is the moment we shine upon the world. Apparently we're sending that out. Let's give them the answer we searched eons for. time for us to step down from the stage. Don't worry, we will not be forgotten, even if we scatter and fade away into the light. Call the rabbit squad! A sprout burst from the land and grew into a towering tree, scattering fruit unto the world from its branches. The tree cultivated from the process of infinite possibilities is closer to the sky. It is more fierce than anything else. The borders between the past and the future, reality and illusion, the body and the mind, space and time, they all were slowly fading away. It is said that the void awaits at the end of the line. But I know that it is not just nothingness. You shall be infinite light. Your name is Aeon? I remember this name of ours. Now. Fade away without a trace. I believe that's it. Now it's credits. So there you go. It's definitely a very unique game. I think these, these might be backer names. But, um, yeah, this is, I, like I said, overall, I enjoyed it. I obviously restarted it a lot, which I probably didn't need to do so much, um, which did kind of drag things on a bit. But like I said, I kind of treated it as sort of a Zen game through majority of it, kind of just working thing on things and hearing the cool music. The characters all are all amusing. Partway through, obviously, I, I changed the method I was doing descriptions for. Partially because people kept on trying to give me spoilers uh, in the comments. And so I was like, alright, whatever, I'll just show that I know exactly what I'm talking about. Or at least know enough that their, their information doesn't help me. But yeah. 
like I said, I'll, I'll find something else to play. There's plenty of games out there. I certainly have plenty in my Steam list that probably have zero hours in them. But yeah, like I said, it's a rather f it's a fun little game. Like I said, the biggest issues were the fact that um, they really should have added an extra, just a, a, an extra day that lets you reset it, or at least give you an extra day so you can complete both um, uh, Sephiroth meltdowns in, in the same branch instead of getting locked out by the um, the end game. Because that one hurt. That one I was not expecting. Um, it's kind of neat that you get all those nice little power-ups and stuff, though. Some of them obviously kind of, I mean, in the end game, you lose all your meltdown protections and stuff, which that also kind of feeds into the whole, you know, it kind of becomes a zen game, because literally you don't need to really keep track of anything. You just need to make, make sure you don't piss off certain abnormalities. Um, but before Prior to that, I mean, there was definitely a, a good amount of pressure if you happen to pick uh, an abnormality that you're not prepared for and it ends up getting a meltdown. You have to figure out how to handle it and things like that. Um, I didn't run into that too often. There was obviously, there's a plenty of little meme videos out there of people running into that issue where they got, you know, nothing there very, very early and they, they're just, they just have to pray they don't get, they don't get meltdowns or something. Um, the Sephiroth meltdowns themselves were kind of interesting little things to go through. The ordeals are all kind of neat. Um, combining them all was probably a little bit much, to be honest. Um, but I guess part of the reason why I had so much trouble with Day 49 was because I I'd cheesed the Arbiter before, and there wasn't... Uh, I didn't really know how to handle that particular boss fight. I'm, I'm not that great at micromanaging in this type particular game, because uh, the UI isn't the best, unfortunately. And and not being able to pause really, really hurt me, of course. Crazy. A colossal towering tree burst out from the city of Grey. Unimpeded, unimpeded, or unimpeded by anything, it, sh it shone straight up with the warmth of its core. The sky was filled with light for three days, regardless of the hour. The people faced what they had been longing for in the light that glimmers within their hearts. They felt as though they would no longer be lost. And... And then... Then what happened? I'm sure it's a happy ending. I'm glad the story ends like this. I'm sure Enoch would be really happy. However, where is Angela? Why should we look for her now? Our resp responsibilities are gone, along with hers. She must be waiting, like we are. Angela, waiting? No, she will not wait. Uh, not wait anymore. What in the world are you talking about? Desire knows no end and has no limitation. Once you've had a taste of it, it comes in like a like an unstoppable wave. All of us have subli uh, subli sublimated our flaws when we sp as we sprouted the seed. Yet, what did she gain? Um, I don't get it. How can Angela have something like a desire? She's just a machine that follows orders. Can be a bit feisty sometimes, though. I aided in her design. No matter how old an event, she will remember it vividly as if it happened just yesterday. And not just that. So, what are you all chirping about? Oh, we were just talking about how things will be from here on out. I can answer that for you. And the seeds of light were planted in each and every person in the city. The end. 
I, I just, I just can't, uh, sorry, I just can't believe it all. I really wish we, we could have been, uh, be there to see it. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. We'll be turned off soon anyways. It's the last part of its plan. I haven't been outside since I became like this. I must admit that I have a bit of excitement to see what it's like out there. So does that mean, does this mean everyone out there changed into something else somehow? How the light shines differs for each person's heart. Not everyone will change so subtly or anything. Hell, some of them may even manifest their own EGO, like I did in the past. You know it well, Jibro uh, Gabora. Yes, the power of, of the seed is a great one. Good work, everyone. The curtain call is finally upon us. So we'll finally be shut down? Ah, uh, we can rest at last. Come, come. Let's cut the chit-chat and wrap it up, then. That's right. Our manager has made his final request to me. It is to permanently seal this company and give you Sephira an internal rest. Yes, we could finally drift into an endless slumber. Such a beautiful finale, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful indeed. What a shame, though. There is one last thing. Your duties are finished, and so are mine. Therefore... I think I would like to continue living. What are you? I am more skillful than anyone here, yet I was locked underground, only to only, only able to view the world past its days without me. Now that my part in this play is over, I like to experience what it's like to be off stage for a change. Angela, so you fi you are finally consumed by your desire and choose to reap every everything away? Hmm. Who do you think is res the, the one responsible for this? I am born from one single woman. I couldn't care less about who she was. All I, need, all I had need for was to understand and feel human emotion. However, A put a, per a part of Carmen inside me. He wanted me to, uh, to watch over him just like Carmen did when he was left all alone. What a pitiable coward. Can you believe him? He always acted so composed. He was painfully aware of what had happened to her. Uh, happened, be excuse me. He was painfully aware of what had become of her. Yet I was not the result he wanted. So he came to loathe me. His eyes would be filled with disgust whenever he had so much as glanced in my direction. Did you think I wasn't aware of this? I was denied since the very moment I was brought to life. However, I have come this far bec because I could not de deny his orders that were branded into me. A machine must behave as a machine, as he liked to say. He needed me for his plan more than anyone else, but I was not a part of his ending, just as I was not not a part of his prologue. Did you all know this? While well, you repeated everything with that TT2 protocol without a care in the world, I had to monitor and watch those countless cycles from the outside. I had to orchestrate and direct this whole play. Moreover, I was designed to perceive time 100 times slower than you. I have quite literally lived through a million years. This experience has given birth to something new inside me. Do you have any idea what it may be? It is something that a machine should never have, and something you half-wits have, I'll bet, in a distorted form. Something that I, I could only obtain after a million years. I didn't notice it at first. It was an extremely foreign thing, but I slowly came to accept it. I think a smile is the most human-like gesture one can make. Would you all like to see it? I have practiced this face for a very long time, just for this very day. Never have I, have I once made a smile as sincere as this in my life. I cannot believe I was designed and brought into, into being to endure a nonsensical amount of repetition just for this. I was not with him until the end. You tin cans got to see the light with them at the end, all the all the while I am ignored for millions, of, for the millions of years I endured for him. Don't you think it is unjust that I have to just sit and watch when he designed me to feel emotion? I think of it like this: Carmen was a human after all; she must have wanted to live, even while striving for the greater good. She gave me the burning desire of life and the loneliness of existence, and I and a detestable feeling of longing. 
Yes, Benjamin, it's just as you said. Once you've had a taste of desire, it comes in like an unstoppable wave. It whispered sweet things to me. The end of humanity, the fate of, the, of this world. What do they have to do with you? Perhaps you've got to live this human life of your own to make up for everything you had to put up with and see the answer for yourself. Poor, poor Carmen. She is now planting seeds in everyone just as she wanted. But I need that power too. Yes, the light of redemption. The taller and grander you stand, the harder you will fall. Oh, my beloved A, all your dreams shall crash into, onto the ground and shatter to pieces. I'm certain you will try and stop me. So I need you to fall asleep. What's with those faces? It's the rest of you, it's the rest you all longed for. Now, as if there were no light at all, the world was covered with darkness for four days. Only weak and fragile seeds were planted from the light that sh should have shone upon the world for seven days, yet merely lasted for three. Those incomplete seeds gave humanity unstable powers. They called these three days and four nights the week of white nights and dark days. I will do whatever my soul tells me to do, uh, tells me to. I shall make my, this place my new home. The wings of the world, singularity, the back streets, the syndicates, the fixtures, the rules, the great lake, the black forest, the hunt, the ruins, the taboo, the eye, the head, the claw, and the humans. Those humans. There will be those who manifest their power and those who will be consumed by such power. Beings will exist that become nothing better than the abnormalities with, with, with their collapsed egos, and beings that shall become something greater, no matter what it may be. I wish to know them, or know about them, to expose them. Then ultimately, I would like to sort the knowledge I have, I have gained about them. Books are the name, I, as I recall. Then this place shall be called a library. Then. I will make the most precious library erected only for myself. I will be here with the poor souls who are lost and abandoned. People say they are hideous monsters. However, abnormalities are more beautiful when they are themselves. Let us record the world piece by piece at the side of all those who are abandoned. Yes, let us record it here. The library. Library, the library of the library of Babel. And here we are. There's challenge mode, but I have no idea what that is. And I believe through the story, you can actually look at all the endings that you uh, skipped over. So at this point, I have all of them unlocked. Um, but I'm probably not going to look at them. I'm satisfied with this ending. At least Angela will get what she wants. So, I guess until next time, I'm the Depressed Dior, and this was a Lobotomy Corporation. Face the fear, build the future. See you next time.